Hi guys, Luciano from Italy here, and I'm doing this short video, I hope this will be a short video, uh, to show you why I'm so excited about the new D4 reply feature. Now we can fire hit every time the bot doesn't recognize the expression from the user, uh, or once for every 24 hours, as it was since some, day, some days ago. So you have to set every time and create here, you will edit and you will create a, a get dynamic content. So here you set is, is my method is a, here is what I did to get the result. But I think this is not the best way, the best solution. So I'm waiting for masters like uh, Juan and the uh, heartbeat uh, and other developers inside the communities which are great great developers here is my I, I created this method and i repeat for the last time i don't think this is a good solution the best solution we have clever other clever solution i guess uh, i create a post a request type post which is going to a webhook I created inside Integromat, which is this tool. Uh, I recommend you, everyone, this tool because it's great. It's, uh, it's, uh, more, it's greater than Zapier, if this and that. I love this tool. You have to create a webhook module here, which will give you a unique URL you see here. So you have to paste it there, okay? In the header section, I created just a content type application JSON, and in the body request, I set this code. It's it's very easy, so don't don't worry about that. I set the query to the last text input, which is a new variable we can access to from here less text input, which corresponds to the expression of the user the bot didn't recognize, okay? Uh, I set the language to IT, ET, because I'm Italian and my bot speaks uh, almost to Italian people. And the session ID, which has to be a unique value, to the user ID, always from here, add the variable, user ID, okay. Uh, you don't need anything else, I think. Okay, so save. And let's go to the uh, Integromat scenario. I received the call inside the webhook. Then I've, I launch an HTTP module which make a request here to this URL, api.dialflow.com slash v1 slash query. The method is a post. I set the body type to row. Uh, content type will be JSON, application slash JSON. And the request content is the query, which corresponds to the, the query received from here. Okay. The query. Okay. Um, the lang, which is lang it, my language, and the session ID, which corresponds to the session ID, the, the user ID in this case. So important here you have headers. You have to set an authorization header and the value you have to put inside. I, I, I get it work with beer space this key okay this long key is available inside your dial flow agent you have to go inside your agent click here on the cog then you find it here in the api keys section okay let's go back here 58DA. Okay, is the developer access token. 
in my case, in, in this case. Okay, now you go back here and save and nothing important here. So, okay, and save it. Next, you have to use a JSON module, the parse JSON, uh, thanks to Harpit for, for this, this solution. You have to click here and the JSON string you have to select will be the data corresponding, uh, which is um, it's coming from here, from the HTTP module. Then finally, we build the response to the user from the bot here. You have to use this JSON code, which is from ManyChat, and inside the text we will give back to the user, you have to choose uh, inside this nested JSON object, you have to choose the speech one, okay? Speech, which is inside result, nested inside result. You click this and you get here your response. Okay, so you have to save and I'll run once to see what's happening. As I'm Italian, obviously, I ask for uh, a pasta. Now I'm writing, I'd like to eat pasta. And let's go back to Integromat, which is receiving my query, vorrei la pasta, I want pasta. Okay. Then is doing the query to the URL we we typed before with where the query is vorrei la pasta everything is okay here then in the json i see everything is okay here and i see the resolved query vorrei la pasta and the speech result quale condimento vuoi per la tua pasta here i am asking which uh, sauce do you want for your for your pasta okay the internet name recognized is chiedi pasta which is here in my dialer flow agent uh, chiedi pasta ask for pasta in english okay here the training phrases and here the sauce which is uh, uh, required okay this is an entity required I, I created which is a condimenti which corresponds to the sauce right here I have three values which is a pesto a sugo which is um, a tomato I think in English and another one uh, another local sauce here so okay everything is okay here yeah and finally, I go to explore the webhook response, the body, which will contain the, the code you need provided from uh, ManyChat to give the answer, and the text, quale condimento vuoi per la tua pasta, which is, uh, which sauce do you want for your pasta? Then I'll type, uh, uh, I'd like pesto, vorrei the pesto, I'd like pesto. And let's see what's happening. Oh, wow. And the bot uh, tells me, oh, cool. Um, we are preparing the, the pasta with pesto for you. Okay. So I, I use an intent, chiedi pasta, which needs to receive the, the sauce pesto. He didn't found the pesto in my expression, which was Vorella pasta. So it asked me for the sauce. Then the bot finally gave me uh, this result. Oh, very good. Uh, we are preparing your pesto pasta for you. Sorry for my English. I don't know. I can speak English very well. So I'm so sorry, guys. And I hope this video will help someone. And for the final, I, I I tell you for the last time, I don't think this is the best solution, okay? 
it just works. I'm happy because it just works. So bye-bye, uh, happy bot building, everyone. See you.